Good morning guys, your boy Bamboo TV here and today I'm gonna show you my sort of my uh, collection of fish and uh, fish tanks and a uh, fish pond so a lot of you guys uh, see my channel I do a lot of uh, um, music I just started uh, gaming but um, I want to bring you guys and invite you guys to my uh, my home and what I'm passionate about and, and I also as my hobby I have I love animals and I love fish and uh, this is one of my fish pond right here right there it's beautiful it's right on my mom little corner garden right here see pretty nice that's the garden but um, pretty much that's the pond I um, built it myself uh, as a gift for my mom. So this fish pond, uh, the pond itself uh, was gave to me by a friend and all I did was uh, buying the, uh, the rock and uh, the pumps and the stuff like that, like the decoration and I just put it together. So uh, I'm not sure how, how many gallons it is, probably 100 gallons or 200 gallons of fish tank uh, with this koi and stuff like that. But yeah, I love it. It was pretty nice. It cost me, I think, around $300, $400 uh, just to buy the equipment. But yeah. But now, I am going to take you guys to see my reef tank. Ah, uh, 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 uh. My reef tank is like a big part of my life. It's kind of like my girlfriend in a way that I, uh, my baby, that I take care of it every day. And here it is. Oh, it's purple. Wow. Look at that purple light. So it is a, um, I believe, a 34 gallon Innovation Marine. Um, I got this tank about, say, two months, almost three months now. It's been up and running since then. Uh, been a couple of crash, but nothing big. But, um, but yeah, it's my roof tank. And uh, let's talk more about it. So let's talk about reef tank. Um, I started reefing when I was 18 in high school. Uh, my, my, I took marine biology class and one of my friends got me into uh, reefing. Um, I, I became upset uh, with, with, with the concept of you know, saltwater fish and the marine life, how the relationship between you know, just anemone and an Nemo, like what kind of fish you call it. Um, ended up having, at one point, four, four fish tanks running at the same time. Uh, two, one, one anemone tank, one 30 gallon tank, um, a 50 gallon tank my grandmother gave, gave to me, and then a small 10 gallon tank that I have in my living room. So I'll have four reef tanks running at the same time. I'm just like, why should I have four? You know, I, I can just only focusing on one. So I ended up uh, parting out the three reef, reef, reef tank and um, working, focusing on the 50 gallon. That became my main displays. You know, I learned a lot. It was it was a lot of crash um, for that tank too. But that became my main display tank with a lot of corals, a lot of uh, uh, success, um, and and ended up selling all of it because I wasn't happy with the uh, the size of the tank and it wasn't it didn't, it didn't have a sum. So I ended up uh, getting this one. Uh, still doesn't have a sump. This is an Innovation Marine. Um, still doesn't have a sump, but it, it, ha it happened in a uh, all-in-one filtration system in the back, so it's a full cycle. The only bad thing about this is that most of the equipment that running in the back can overheat and can create a problem for the tank and for the living uh, organization, uh, organization organism and create a problem in the reef. Um, a lot of the marine life cannot to sustain living past the heat of 78 or 80 degree. Um, but this tank has been up and running for about two months now. Uh, nothing crazy happened. There's some algae outbreak. I already fixed that. Um, it's just overfeeding because I'm, I'm usually not home. My dad usually don't want to feed and I don't know how much food he put in and, and, and feeding so on. But uh, I have a couple of anemone in here. This tank uh, originally was going to be a uh, clownfish and bubble tip and an anemone only. And ended up uh, starting to uh, buy a couple of frags and corals, so I might convert it back to, um, you know, a coral tank. Uh, but as of now, this is what I, I have. I have two potato clownfish. Um, 
I'm not sure that pot uh, potato clownfish. Who cares? They just really uh, energized, really aggressive uh, with their territory and the anemone. I loved it. Um, hoping to upgrade to a uh, Mer uh, Max Bretzi Max uh, F 650 or X. Um, yeah, hoping hoping to uh, purchase that next big big rift tank in my home. Uh, um, but as of to now, this is my pretty much the uh, next experience tank, uh, experimental tank to uh, see if. You know, learn as I go. I learn as it goes, and I want to start small. Um, before, before this, before tilt up this point with this tank, I had my first tank was a thirty gallon from Petco. I made a lot of mistake. Uh, for one, being a thought that the salinity is pH, so I always dose uh, salt over the limit uh, to match the pH level. I don't know why I thought that. Uh, that that was a fail. Uh, Fish always die because there was too much uh, salinity, salt in the water. And then I thought, huh, I need a good filtration system because every, everything was dying. I guess the water is not that quality. Uh, I ended up buying another 30 gallon tank, so top bottom, and make 30 gallon tank some. Ended up, didn't know how the process of uh, water flow at the overflow and the return pump works. Ended up overflowed uh, a lot of the water overnight um, almost like 75% of the water was out into the floor because the uh, the uh, the overflow could not flow enough water and, and, and then the pump was pumping way too much water so therefore uh, the water level rise and um, it was a mess it was a mess I, I remember uh, waking up to that morning with salt water everywhere in my house cleaning it up and, and it was it was a mess but I learned that, so now that's why I have this system uh, all designed for um, the right amount of flows and the right amount of return water. So it, it was it was good set. I got the uh, this is actually my first um, vortex pump that I ever purchased, and it's a miracle, guys. If you don't have a vortex pump, you need to go and invest to uh, to one. And always it's it's kind of pricey and expensive, but it's definitely worth the money. Um, because this is a hobby, uh, and uh, it's not just a hobby, it's a passion that uh, you, you want to take care of your marine life and fish and, 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 and what you love to, you know, sustain the survival rate of your fish and corals. So having a good water flows, a good light is a, uh, is a must in marine, uh, in reefing. It's a hobby. Yeah. So that will be it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this, uh, please um, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Also comment in the comment section below to say uh, to see what should I do next with my reef tank. Maybe more corals, more fish, um, who knows. But uh, anyways, uh, subscribe and um, have a good day. So I'm gonna leave this video at the end of this video with uh, a few shots of my tanks and I hope you guys enjoy. Mm -hmm.